Okay, guys, I believe everybody is doing great, nice, and absolutely fine. So, in this particular video, we'll be completing the units and dimensions. We say the most, or I, I say, extremely high weighted chapter, okay? You can expect two to three questions from this particular chapter because this is considered to be among the top chapters of the complete physics, okay? And it is very easy. Let's complete this particular chapter in next few minutes, okay? We say... Physical quantity, the first topic. What is a physical quantity? Sir, it is that quantity which can be measured. Okay, like you have length, mass, time, temperature, area, volume, density, etc. Okay, then we have non-physical quantity. A quantity that cannot be measured. Like, like you have, sir, goodness. How much goodness he has. You have some uh, love, hatred. So these are, we say, the quantities which cannot be measured. Okay, then next we have the physical quantity. Okay, we say we divide physical quantity in fundamental quantity, supplementary quantities and divide and derived quantities when it comes to basically fundamental quantities we say these are those quantities which are independent on each other okay which does not depend on each other and when it comes to the supplementary quantities we say these are also the fundamental quantities but they don't have dimensions okay but they don't have dimensions only they have unit okay like angle solid angle and then we have like Sir, what are the fundamental quantities that we have over here? We say mass, length, time, temperature, amount of substance, electric current, luminous intensity. Okay, like you can see over here, their SI unit. This is kilogram. We say meter, second, Kelvin, mole, ampere, and candela. Okay, then we say the derived units. Sir, derived units are basically those fundamental, those units, those quantities which are derived from the fundamental quantities. Like you say area. Area is, we say, length into breadth. Okay, it is derived from length into breadth. Density. Density is mass by volume. Force. Force, we say, mass into acceleration. So, this is a, this is a derived quantity. Okay. Okay. Now, now, sir, what is a unit? See, if I say distance is equal to 25 kilometers, what is this kilometer over here? Kilometer in this case is unit. Okay. We said this, this 25 means magnitude. This 25 kilometers represent over here. Uh, we say 25 is, 25 kilometer is great. How many times greater than one kilometer? 25 times. So that's why we say over here, this kilometer is the unit. And in this case, we say 25,000 meters. And we say over here, this meter is the unit in this particular case. Okay. And when it comes to the mag, when it comes to uh, the measurement, guys, remember always measurement is always magnitude into unit. So we say it is N into U, as simple as that. So whenever you measure something, it is magnitude into unit, that is N into U. And, and remember, guys, like we can say over here, sir, 25 kgs is equal to 20. 5,000 grams. Here kg is unit, here grams is unit, okay? And 25,000 is magnitude over here. And you can say, sir, NU is constant, N1, U1 is equal to N2, U2, because you can see from this particular example over here, okay? Okay, next we have the dimensions. Sir, what is the meaning of dimensions? What does dimensions actually say? We say it gives us an idea how many physical quantities are involved in a, uh, how many physical quantities are involved or how many fundamental quantities are involved in a physical quantity? Like, like, like. You have velocity. We say velocity is displacement upon time. How many displacements? One displacement and one time. So you can write instead of displacement, you can write length and power one. Divided by time, power one. So it will be LT minus one. This is the dimensional formula of velocity. Similarly, similarly for acceleration, you can say, sir, velocity upon time. For velocity, it is LT minus 1 divided by time, so it becomes LT minus 2. So for all these, you can check over here, what are the dimensional formulas of all these force, work, energy, power, okay, momentum, etc. Okay, now these are the dimensional quantities in which you have got the same dimensions, like length, like displacement has got length, distance has got length. You can take the screenshot of this one so that you will get to understand all of these quantities have the same dimensions. Okay, you can see from this one also. Take the screenshot over here. Now, now, next is Planck's constant. You can find the dimensions over here. Angular momentum, you can find spring constant. You can find the dimensions over here. Okay, it is mentioned. I hope you will take the screenshot of all of this. I'll be sharing the PDF also. Next, we have energy density, mass density, charge density. Everything is given over here. Okay, like we said dimensionless physical quantities which have no dimensions okay like you have the trigonometric formula exponential formula strain okay it is delta l upon l so that's why it has got no dimensions it's a dimensionless physical quantity okay then we say principle of homogeneity principle of homogeneity basically says that you cannot compare 
टू डिफरेंट फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज लाइक आई से ओवर हियर सर फोर मीटर प्लस टू के जी डिस्टेंस सॉरी फोर मीटर प्लस टू के जी मास कैन वी एड दम नो इट इज इलॉजिकल वी से इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल लाइक थ्री मीटर माइनस टू सेकेंड इज इट पॉसिबल नॉट पॉसिबल सर इफ वी से एट मीटर प्लस सेवन मीटर यस इट इज पॉसिबल वाई बिकॉज हियर यू हैव गॉट द सेम physical quantity here also you have got the same physical quantity okay okay so this is what does the principle of homogeneity say you cannot add two different physical quantities but we can multiply two different physical quantities like force is equal to mass into acceleration okay momentum is equal to m into v okay now take a look at this particular question i have solved it over here you will get the idea so uh, you can you can take the screenshot and you will uh, you will see it later on how i have solved on this uh, principle of homogeneity okay now we have the significant figure sir what are significant figure c c c if i say if i say i'll give you the number over here 857275 well, how many significant figures are in this number okay this there are some rules by which you can you have to figure out how many significant figures are in this number okay like like what is the first rule you can see over here we say all non zero digits are significant all non zero digits are significant okay like 56 has two significant figures okay then we say all zeros between non zero digits are significant okay then we say all zeros on the left side of non zero are significant okay okay uh, are non significant okay like the example is over here this has how many significant figures four okay this has how many significant figures six okay then you have then you have power forms are not considered to be the significant figures like like we say this is not considered to be the significant figure over here then we say trailing zero after decimal is significant like like we say 4.00 it has got how many significant figures three significant figures okay next we have next we have okay multiplication and division of significant figures like 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 my dear friends if we have got this a if we have got this b if we divide them okay we'll get the answer 25.5 divided by 5 it is 5.1 now see we say here final result is written in the minimum decimal minimum significant figures see this has got three significant figures this has got one significant figure so in case of division we have to write the answer in minimum significant figures so minimum significant figure here is one so answer will be 5 not 5.1 similarly similarly you can see this was a question asked in neat 2020 so we can say in this okay okay i'll be showing you first this addition one if you have got a plus b okay here answer is written in minimum decimal place so what is the answer in this case cc this plus this becomes 3.613 so we have to write the answer in minimum decimal place minimum decimal place is here 1.2 okay after decimal you have got after this point you have got how many we say sir two only only one number so answer will be 3.6 okay so similarly you can say over here if there is was a question asked in neat 2020 what is the answer of this one option 1 why because in case of addition and subtraction you have to write the answer in minimum decimal place so here you have got the minimum decimal place so that is option a okay then you have we say measuring instrument so what is the first measuring instrument over here that is meter scale okay so my dear friends meter scale we know you might have seen the meter scale okay so in this meter scale if i zoom in over here if i go from this 1 to 2 this is what we call 1 cm okay and in this 1 cm how many uh, mm's are there okay millimeters are there you can say sir 1 2 3 4 how many divisions you can say 10 divisions that's what i'm trying to say sir 10 msd 10 main scale divisions these are what we call the main scale divisions 10 main scale divisions is equal to 10 mm is equal to 10 mm and that is also equal to 1 cm okay and if somebody asks you how much is equal to one main scale division that is 1 by 10 cm that is 1 mm okay next next now how do we basically measure the length of the rod using 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 we say sir measuring using this meter scale let's suppose you have got a rod over here okay now if you have to write the if you have to write the reading of the rod see i'll tell you how do you write you'll write basically there is a formula that is main scale reading plus least count least count means minimum uh reading that we can take from the instrument minimum length that we can measure by the help of the instrument like like what is the minimum length that you can measure over here sir you can minimum the minimum length that you can measure with the help of this meter scale is we say sir 1 mm less than 1 mm uk it is not possible for you to measure so how do we take the reading 
main scale reading plus least count. So, so let's suppose we have got the rod one over here. What is the length of rod one? Guys, listen to me very carefully. Sir, this rod one has crossed 4 mm. So, main scale reading is 4 mm. Then we say plus minus. Least count. Least count is minimum length it can measure. That is 1 mm. So, 1 mm. So, L2 has got how much length? Also, 4 mm plus minus 1 mm. Then L3, it has got 5 mm. Why? Because L3 is exactly 5 mm long. Okay, this was the meter scale. Then we have the vernier caliber. If you have to measure something which is less than, guys, listen to me very carefully. If you have to measure something which is less than 1 mm. So in that case, we use the vernier calibers. And when it comes to the vernier calibers, listen to me very carefully. You have got two scales. We say meter scale and then you have got the vernier scale. Now, my dear friends, in this particular case, we say this this vernier scale has got 10 divisions and 10 divisions of vernier scale is equal to 9 divisions, uh, 10 divisions of vernier scale is equal to 9 divisions of meter scale. Keep this thing in your mind. You can see exactly over here. Now the question is, I'll be directly telling you, how do you find the length of the rod using meter scale, using meters, uh, sorry, uh, this vernier caliper. We say length of the rod here is, or we say reading here is, MSR that is main scale reading okay and then we say into least count and then we say vernier scale reading let me tell you over here let's suppose you have got a question okay my dear friends listen to me very carefully you have the meter scale over here and you have the vernier scale over here if I ask you simply if I ask you simply tell me the length of the rod tell me the length of this particular rod over here sir what is the formula that we'll be using in this particular case sir formula will be using main scale reading plus one year scale reading into least count okay and remember guys least count of this is 0.01 least count of this one year scale is 0.01 minimum reading that you can take that is 0.01 like in case of meter scale what was the least count that was 1 mm now see now see if you have to measure the length of this rod if you have to measure the length of this rod okay guys listen to me very carefully main scale reading Guys, main scale reading, this is the main scale. Main scale reading will be over here, sir, 1. Why? Because this rod has crossed 1, 1 mm. This rod has crossed 1 mm over here. So, main scale reading will be 1. Now, vernier scale reading. Vernier scale reading, this is the vernier scale. You have to see which number of vernier scale is coinciding with which number of main scale. Like over here, like over here, 3 is coinciding with 4. 3 is coinciding with 4. So, you can say over here, in that case, you will take the vernier scale reading as 3, okay? And what is the least count? What is the least count of this? That is 0 0.1, simply. So, we say 1.0.3, 1 plus 0 0.3, that will be 1.3 mm. So, my dear friends, by the help of this, you can measure, you can measure the length of the rod by using vernier scale, okay, vernier caliper. So we say MSR plus VSR into least count, okay. So this was basically all about it, okay. These were the important topics that you need to focus on in this particular chapter so that you will get the uh, maximum marks. And if you want to learn the complete chapter, it is mentioned in the marathon, I have already taught this. In detail, you can learn from there also. And one more thing I just want to tell you over here, what is that? That is, that is, that is, we say, we say, my dear friends, my dear friends, recently RM event of uh, Unacademy happened, okay? In that RM event, we say the Unacademy subscription, which used to be for plus subscription for complete one year for you need UG, which used to be for 46,000 rupees. It is now only at 54,999. So in this plus subscription, you'll get the access to all the batches, all the test series, Okay, so every material you will be getting over there, you can learn from the different educators. So if you want to get it, get it right now as soon as possible, okay? And you can use my code, you can use my code. What is my code? You can use my code, okay? You can use my code, that is we say Yawar, that is we say sir Yawar, okay? Use my code Yawar to get the maximum discount in this case also, okay? So thank you so much guys, this was all about it.